This video is brought to you by Sailrite. A home sewing machine needle always has a flat side to the shank, so it's easy to insert correctly in your sewing machine. However, an industrial needle usually has a round shank, and it is not so easy to figure out how to install those needles. We're going to show you how in this video. First, we need to identify some features of the needle. Here's a close-up of a needle, and you can see the scarf here. As we roll it around, you see the long groove that extends all the way from the eye up to the top portion or shaft of the needle. The thread will always run along the long groove side of the needle and be inserted from that side into the eye of the needle. Roll it around some more and you can see that deep scarf. That scarf will always point towards the uh, hook assembly of the sewing machine. Here you can see the deep scarf on the right side of the Alterfeed LSZ sewing machine. We're going to remove the retaining ring and the hook assembly with bobbin case here. We're going to reinsert the hook in the Alterfeed sewing machine. And here as we roll the balance wheel around you can see that hook oscillate from side to side. And you'll notice the needle is on the left side of the hook point. So if you own a Sailrite Alterfeed sewing machine, the scarf of the needle will always face to the right. Let's sink this in a little bit more. Let's look at the Sailrite 111 sewing machine. We're going to remove the uh, needle plate and the feed dog here so we can get a closer look at it. Here, the same principle applies. The scarf will always face the hook. You can see the scarf here. It's on the inside throat of the sewing machine or facing the right side. The same is the alter feed machine. And here you can see the hook brush by the scarf on that needle. So again, the scarf must face the point of the hook assembly. And on the Sarite 111 sewing machine, it must face to the right, same as the alter feed machine. We're now going to look at a different sewing machine. This is a Sailrite uh, professional sewing machine. This is the long arm version. But we want to look at this machine because the uh, scarf is in a totally different position because the rotary hook assembly is to the rear on this machine. So if you look at the needle uh, close up, you'll notice the scarf is facing to the rear on the Sailrite professional sewing machine. Let's take a look at one more sewing machine. This is a Sailrite big and tall sewing machine. On this machine, the bobbin is loaded from the top, so we slide the plate over, and we're going to remove the thread from the eye of the needle here and roll the balance wheel by hand so the hook assembly rotates around. You can see the needle coming down, and the hook is rotating. Now it just brushed by the needle. So since the hook is on the right side, the scarf must also be facing towards the right. You can see it here in this video here. So wherever the hook is, and all sewing machine needles have a scarf, that's the direction that the scarf should face. On the direct opposite side of the scarf is the long groove, and the thread should come down that long groove and into the eye of the needle from that side. Now you should know how to insert a needle properly in your sewing machine and also how to thread the needle. To replace a needle, simply loosen the needle set screw. Pull the needle downwards and off. Reinsert a new needle and push upwards until the top of the needle is against the stop. Turn the needle appropriately so the scarf is on the correct side. If you're using a home sewing machine needle, there'll be a flat side on it, so this is not necessary. And re-tighten the needle set screw. That's all there is to it. It's your loyal patronage to Sailrite that makes these free videos possible. Thanks for your support.